Hi everyone. Um, I am going to do a video today of my small but much, much loved Esterbrook collection. This video was suggested to me by uh, a viewer and I thought what a great idea for a short video to do on my day off. So I'm going to show you my pens and what I have and what I have currently inked in them because they are all currently inked. They are almost all always inked and I'll give you a writing sample and tell you a little bit about about how I feel about each one of them. So I have the Esterbrook to go cup. Um, I really wasn't sure about this when it first came out. I just thought it didn't seem very practical. But we got them at the shop that I work at, Anamoya, and I was I was intrigued. So I got one and I have been using it uh, to to keep my currently inked pens in it every day for about a month and a half and I actually like it I like this guy um, he fits in my purse really well so or my purse I don't carry a purse he fits in my backpack um, my backpack is my everyday carry and so whenever I put my stuff in there it's got like stuff that always lives in there but whenever I put my journal in there in the morning before work um, this goes in right next to it and it just kind of slides down in my backpack and it stays good, you know, and secure. I've never had an issue with any of my pens coming out at all. Um, I like that it stands up straight on my desk and you open it up, it comes to unclasp right here and it has this elastic band right here, which makes it so that you can stretch it down over top of your pens so that they're easily accessible. And this little thing right here, uh, the separator for the pens comes out as well. Uh, there's a spot in here for six pens, and I currently have only five Esterbrooks. But the, uh, the Orlando Pen Show is coming up here very soon, and my boss and I are both going. And I can't guarantee that I won't come home with another Esterbrook. And she's also making another Estabrook order soon, so I can't guarantee that there won't be one to fill this slot. I'm actually like seriously wavering between Petrified Forest and Honeycomb. Yeah. So anyway, I really like this guy. Um, like I said, I wasn't sure about it before. It's very durable. Um, it's got a really nice canvas. And then this is like a, like the the neckline of a sweater almost and so it's very soft and it you know allows you to to open up and move down and it stays upright which I like as well it's I'm able to just kind of sit it over here off to the side while I'm journaling um yeah so I've seen some reviews on these from people saying you know they're not practical they um, they couldn't get it to stand upright. I've never had a problem with it standing upright. Um, I enjoy it. I enjoy this guy. Um, now I do know also that Esterbrook has just come out with some pen sleeves and they've also just released pictures of a zip around uh, pen case. So I also have an Esterbrook uh, nook to hold three pens. Oh, and I forgot to grab it. Give me one second and I'll grab it. So this is part of my Esterbrook collection and I really like it. We just pop it up right there. It has a little magnetic clasp right there. And on the inside, it fits three pins. Um, it's a very soft material in here and it has these elastic bands to keep your pins in place. And I will pull out some of my pens to show you how they look in there. Yeah, so it's really nice. It keeps them nice and safe. And I really like this. It makes me feel very, it's a very posh sort of pen case. And um, 
I really like it. It's, it's a really it was a really lovely gift and a very uh, a much loved part of my Estabrook collection. So as you can see, I have five Estabrook pins, and of course, like I said, room for one more. Uh, and then I'm waffling between Petrified Forest, Honeycomb, and Sea Glass. And who knows, over time, I may get all of them. I am, uh, I can't guarantee that I won't. Um, so I will talk about my pins in order of when I got them and tell you a little bit about their story and why I love them so much. So this was my very first ever Estabrook SD. Um, I have one other Estabrook, which is a vintage Estabrook JR, and it's in the green finish, and I really, really love it. It's a great writer, but I don't ink it up often at all because I'm just afraid of, of breaking it. Um, so it kind of sits in this little pink pen case that I have for all of my vintage fountain pens, which I don't have a large collection, but I do have a few. So this was my first Estabrook SD. I bought it at Anamoya where I work. And to be honest, it wasn't a color that I initially gravitated towards. It was more of an impulsive purchase because I really wanted to try out an Estabrook SD. And this was one that we had in stock. I had got to choose between this SD and Nouveau Blue. And so I chose this one, but I'm so glad that I did. This Scarlet is so, beautiful. It's got areas where it's very, very pink and then areas where it's like a deeper maroon and then it's got all of these little areas where it's sort of filled in and it's this beautiful sort of iridescent blue. And of course, as you can see, it has gold finish, the Estabrook logo right there. And I have this with a medium nib and I always, always, always fill this pen with my favorite ink for this pen, which is Pilot Uroshizuku Yamabudo. So I tried many different inks for this pen before you see how there you can see the pink. So I tried many different inks for this pen before I settled on Yamabuto, um, and none of them quite measured up to what, uh, none of them just felt right until I put Yamabuto in here because I noticed the pink. And then at that point, it was like, that is my forever ink for this pen. I love Yamabuto in here. I use my Estabrooks like they're they're inked up all the time i don't think since i ever got scarlet way back in the day i don't think there has ever been a month where she hasn't been inked up and written completely dry at least once so i'm going to give you a little writing sample show you what yamabuto looks like inside of her and then i'll move on to my next pin Sorry if you can hear my kids. I told them that I was filming and I asked them to be quiet, but it doesn't always work. Medium nib is so smooth. I love the absolute perfect line of ink that it puts down. So it's enough to wear it's not overly juicy, so it doesn't look like a broad nib line, but it's not super fine, like an extra fine. So I really get to see the beauty of my ink. I love it. So that is my Estabrook SD in Scarlet, my very first Estabrook. Absolute love. And now I'll move on to my next one.
So my next Estabrook, Estabrook SD that I got was the Estabrook SD in Rainforest. And if you know me, you know that my colors are green and yellow. I love green and yellow. Those are my favorite colors. And when this pin came out, I fell in love with it and I knew I really, really wanted it. And I really wanted it, but at the time, uh, it just wasn't something that was in the budget for me. Um, we were kind of going through a, a shift in our life. We had just moved, my girls and I, and so it wasn't something that I said, okay, well, you know, I'll get this. I'll treat myself or I'll save up for this because it really wasn't much to save with. The day it came out, I sent a picture to my husband and I was like, look, this is so beautiful. And before I knew it, he didn't say a word to me, but before I knew it, this had shown up on my doorstep where we were living at the time. And he had purchased it for me. And so this is a pin that is very, very special to me because my husband really doesn't get pins as a hobby, as a as an interest. I mean, to him, a pin is a pen, except he really does like, I turned him on to um, Papermate Ink Joy gels a couple years ago, and those are his favorite pens to write with, along with Pilot G2s. So he gets it, but as far as fountain pens, that's not a thing. He has a, a very massive video game collection. Um, all things video game, all the different consoles. Anyway, back to pens. So anyway, he got this for me. It is very, very special to me. I love everything about this pen. It's just, Estabrook Estes to me are just perfection in a pen. They have the perfect weight. They're not too heavy. They're not super light. They just, everything about them, and I write with my pens posted too. So everything about these pens just makes me so happy. I feel like the converter holds just the right amount of ink. Um, some converters I feel like are a little bit too small. Like I only get to write with them for a day or two and then they're dry. Um, but I feel like this holds just the right amount of ink. And, oh, but ink on me, but that's okay. Um, so I end up, if I'm writing with these during the month, I will end up writing them dry at least once and then refill them. But, um, yeah, I just... To me, like as far as beauty when it comes to a pen, Esther Brooks, they just, they've taken the cake. They're just fantastic. So anyway, this is my Esther Brooks Rainforest in my medium nib. One of my very, very most loved pens. So the ink that is my forever ink for this pen is Kayo no Oto Koki Iro. It's just such a perfect match in my opinion. And this ink flows so beautifully from this nib. Just makes me super happy every time I ink this pen up. And anytime I ink any of my pens, my Estabrook pens up, just makes me very, very happy. So here's a little writing sample. such a smooth writer. It's, now this ink is a little bit more wet than the other inks, and so it looks a bit more uh, juicy coming out of the nib, but I absolutely love that. Oh, so beautiful. Love it. My Rainforest. The next pen that I got was the Esterbrook Camden in Oktoberfest. I had a, I actually had a YouTube check during that time when we had moved and we were sort of in transition. 
and I had a YouTube check and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. And I had seen pictures of this pen. Actually, what really turned me on to this pen was this Oktoberfest uh, cup. Oh gosh. You know what I'm talking about. This right here. I saw this because it was some swag that was given that was sent to my boss for Fountain Pen Fridays, which is a thing at our store. And I saw the pen and I absolutely fell in love with it. And so I immediately started Googling it and I knew that I eventually wanted to have this pen. So that's what started the love for it. And so this actually sits on my desk. I like to look at it. And when I got that YouTube check, I said, you know what? I'm gonna get it. And so I did. There's the Estabrook logo on it. And I made a video about this pen and my middle daughter and I uh, reviewed this pen together. And she said that it looked like Thai milk tea. And it does. So. This is the Oktoberfest pen, but it it is my my Thai milk tea pen. Can you see like the the chunks in there, the clear chunks? They look like ice. And if you've ever had Thai milk tea, you will know that this looks just like it. I actually made a Thai milk tea for that video as well. And so when I opened this pen on camera and we looked at it. She told me that this was the most beautiful pen out of all the pens that I had. And I have to agree. I feel like out of all the pens I have, this and one other pen, which is also an Estabrook, are think, I think the most beautiful pens that I own. I love the body of the Camden. I love how it feels. Some people may feel that it's a bit too long when posted to write with it posted. Um, and I have small hands, but for me, you know, it's, I really enjoy it. Um, I enjoy everything about this pen. To me, it's Thai milk tea, but it's also a very fall pen, and fall is my favorite season. I also love orange. Orange is another color that I really love. Um, it just makes me happy to look at. Love it. So I will give you a little writing sample now. I forgot to say that this pen, I used to fill this pen with Fuyugaki from Orochizuku and I really liked it, but then I found Ferris Will Press Pumpkin Patch and I feel like it's a much better match. And I really, really love the way it writes in this pen too. It's beautiful. And I like how the the gold nib looks with all the orange and, and like the, the deeper colors there too. And it's also in a medium nib. This is the perfect fall combination, I believe. Well, I feel like it's just such like oranges and yellows to write with are just such happy colors for me. I really like more saturated colors for writing and they just, I don't know, they just something about them makes me really happy when I write. The nib is incredibly smooth as every Estabrook pen I've ever tried. Even the extra fines, they're just all super smooth. And I really adore this pen. The next pen that I got was a pen that I saved up for. Um, and this is no, yeah, no stranger pen to any of you. This is the Estabrook and Ferris Will Press collab collaboration nebulous plume and you can see the engraving on the, the clip there and the Estabrook logo with fairy tales 
and then the stars behind it. And one of the reasons why I chose this pen was just the, the orange there. I just really love that orange and yellow. And it's got a little bit of, little bit of blue and purple and then like some magenta. And I really liked that it was just a great combination of all the colors. Really enjoyed this pen. I've tried many different inks in it and I currently have it inked with Lamy Crystal Azurite to match the blues. So it's like a bluish purple. And I really like this combination. I don't know if it'll be the forever combination, but I do really like it right now. Oh, there's a good, a good representation there. And so I have this pen in a broad nib. It is my only broad nib and I'm really enjoying it. I wasn't sure about this broad nib when I first got it. Um, I need to re-ink. I'm, I'm out. I am dry. <laughs> um, when I got this pen was when they first came out and it's been inked up ever since. Uh, this fill that I just wrote dry was my ninth fill so when I ink this back up it will be my tenth fill since I got it. Um, so how this came about was the owner of the shop that I work at um, she placed the order for two other customers that we have that come in every fountain pen Friday and I always clean their pens for them and re-ink them and they're just great customers they love fountain pens and they both wanted this pen and they wanted to purchase it from us to give the, the business to a small business that, you know, they're, they're very close to. And so when the owner was making the decisions to order um, from, uh, from Esterbrook themselves through our representative, the only sizes that they had available were extra fine and broad. And so she chose a few extra fines and then one broad. And um, yeah, when they arrived, I wasn't sure I was gonna buy one. Uh, at first, like the price was really steep and I really wasn't sure if I wanted to, I really wasn't sure if I wanted to. When they came in, we unboxed them and they were all so beautiful and I really fell in love with this pen. I fell in love with it and it had a broad nib on it. And so I knew that when I wrote with it, it would be super juicy and I'd be able to see the ink really well. And um, so I wasn't gonna buy it at first. And then I was on the way home from work that night and I looked in my savings account and I had enough in there to buy the pen. And so I text my boss immediately and said, I'm buying the pen tomorrow. So I came into work the next day and I bought the pen and inked it up and the rest is history. It's been inked up since I got it. Now, a lot of people, like the, the two people that I know, the, um, the two customers who originally ordered this pen from us, um, like wanted the, wanted the pen, so we placed the order. These are display pens for them. They have not inked their pens up. They don't plan to, they just are display pens. I just can't get down with that. If I'm gonna pay a lot of money for a pen, then it's gonna be a pen that I use and use and use and use and use. I wanna get every little bit of use out of it. And yeah, so even when I, a lot of people also with expensive pens, they don't take their expensive pens out the door with them. I bring all my pens out the door with me. Whatever I have currently inked will go in my pen case. I journal with them out and about. I journal with them, you know, everywhere. They go in my backpack. And so I'm never afraid to bring my pens with me. And I feel like as pen lovers and pen users, we shouldn't be. Take them out, use them. I've actually even let a few customers try out this pen in the shop. And that led to another one of the pens being sold to another really great customer. And, um, I don't think she would have bought one if she hadn't tried, uh, tried mine out. So I'm glad that I gave her that opportunity. So let's do a little writing sample real quick. Esther 
Rip. Ferris will press. really like how this pen writes. Um, I wasn't sure about the broad nib at first, but I've really been enjoying it. Really been enjoying it. I'm really glad that I took the plunge and got this pen. I think it makes a great addition to my Esterbrook collection. And just like all my Esterbrook pens, I will be keeping them for forever. These will always be my pens. Yeah, so that is my Esterbrook SD in Nebulous Plume. So my last and most recent Esterbrook SD is this SD in Botanical Garden that I also got from the shop that I work at. If you watched my mental health update post, then you will know that this pen was a, oh gosh, I was actually hypomanic, it was manic when um, I purchased this pen. We had actually thought we had lost it in the shop. Um, we showed in our system that we had a 1.1 stub available and a medium, and I had the 1.1 stub on display, and I looked and looked and looked, and I could not find this pen anywhere. And so we kind of thought that maybe, um, maybe it had gotten stolen because the pens used to be on display out, you know, in the open and um, thought maybe it might have been stolen. But then uh, I looked in a place that I wouldn't ordinarily look for Esterbrook pens. We kind of keep our pens organized or sort of put away by brand. And so I looked in another spot and there it was. And when I saw that I found it, and the fact that it was a medium nib, I had a, it was a split second decision. Literally, I raced to the checkout uh, at the desk and I didn't say a word, but I immediately bought the pen. And um, it was, it was a, uh, uh, I didn't think about it very well, but I really like this pen. I enjoy it. It's beautiful, it has so many beautiful colors on it. Of course, it writes amazing because it's an Esterbrook and it's got that wonderful, beautiful, perfectly smooth medium nib. And I have actually, I don't have a swatch card for what I have in here right now because I've been in the process of trying different colors in it and I've been trying different colors that we have in our shop. That's my only complaint with this pen is the sound that it makes, it's my only Esterbrook that makes that sound. But the sound that it makes when I screw it back on or I unscrew it, it's that's annoying. But it's not a deal breaker for me. So I actually need to refill this pen and try another ink in it. But I currently have uh, Jacques Urban Verdegree in here because I thought it would be a good match. <laughs> a good match for these bluer areas here like these kind of blue gray areas I thought it would be really nice um, obviously I could use Yamabuto with it because of the the red chunks I actually tried autumn in auburn in it from Ferris Wool Press when I first got it did not like it at all I don't like that color at all I've tried twinkling tea party in it from Ferris Wool Press I tried buttered popcorn in it and None of those seemed to fit the pen. Um, I have enjoyed Verdigree in it, but I'm not quite sure if I like Verdigree enough for it to be a, a bottle of ink that I purchased that I can always use in here. I want to try and find a happier, more saturated ink for this pen. I feel like it deserves a, a deeply saturated, happy ink. And so I will keep looking. 
Um, but so there's that sort of odd story that goes along with the pen. So, you know, that's <laughs> all of my pens have stories to them, all of them. And that just happens to be this pen's story. So I'll give you a writing sample now. Now, if you can tell, this Esterbrook writes a little bit finer than my other Estes. And I'm not really sure why that is. It could be this ink. Um, Urban inks, I think, tend to be on the drier side. So I'm, I'm more inclined to believe that it's probably this ink. I don't know if you can tell, can you see like right here, the color match that I was kind of going for? I feel like it matches pretty well. And if I am not able to find, I'll probably try a few more different colors of ink in this pen. And if I'm not able to find one, that I like more, then I will probably continue to use Urban Verdigris in here because I feel like it matches really well. And maybe I don't always need a super saturated bright ink. Sometimes it's nice to write with something a little bit more muted. Um, yeah, so that is my Botanical Garden Estes little story. So here they are laid out by order of appearance. My Scarlet. Rainforest, Oktoberfest Milk Tea, Nebulous Plume, and Botanical Garden. And that is my small Esterbrook collection. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. That would make me very, very happy. And if you have any more suggestions of videos that you would like to see me do in the future, by all means, please let me know down below. And I thank you guys so much for watching, and I wish you awesomeness and greatness and happy writing. Bye-bye.